Well, hello and welcome to my channel. I am Mike Rondo. Sorry I haven't been around for a week, almost a week. Uh, it took some time, uh, had some things going on, so I, I wasn't really active with this. And I was a little lazy as well, um, <laughs> to be honest. Uh, it is winter, so it can get cold in the shed, although it's a nice 43 degrees in here. It was 30 when I came in, but uh, things aren't so, uh, too bad. I mean, it's supposed to snow a little bit more again. Um, it's funny, I was coming out here, and uh, I have a rabbit update. For those of you who don't know, in the summer, we had, I have a rabbit called Hopper. My daughter calls him Hopper, and, and there's Hoppet, his wife, if you will. Uh, and they've been around, but they went missing after they had baby rabbits in the summer here. Um, and they left. So I hadn't seen them around in a while, but I saw them was it the week before the snowstorm we had last Sunday. I don't know, maybe. I saw him in the morning hopping around, so I put some food out. I don't know if he had that food, but coming into the shed tonight, or today, I should say, uh, I saw some rabbit poop <laughs> uh, in, the, in the pathway. So, and I was walking in by the shed, and right where I come in where the door is, I have a little ramp, and then there's like a little step, and there's like a hole where they, they're probably right underneath right now as I speak. So, um, I put some food out because it's supposed to snow tonight, so I put a little... Put a little rabbit food out. I put this stuff out. Uh, I've had this for a while. So I put that out there. Hopefully, hopefully they'll have some and, you know, they'll be happy. Um, what else? Uh, I had no update on Gus the spider. He went up there in October, whenever it was, and I haven't seen him since. And he can stay wherever he is. I don't need to see him. But anyway, uh, I also shaved finally. Feels good. I feel weird. Like, I shaved, got back down to my, my scruff because I set it to a one five or whatever it is and I shaved to my scruff which is what I normally prefer I have to shave my head though because this is this is getting moppy um, so I'll do that tomorrow but um, other than that uh, I have my walking sticks came in so I'll be doing a review on that probably next weekend I actually hurt my knee I put my brace on I don't know what I did to my knee my knee feels a little weird so uh in my back as well but my back is better i straightened that out seems to be okay but uh but anyway i do got a package that came in today as a matter of fact and we're going to talk about it uh we're going to also do a review on a tobacco we're going to do uh cornell and deal's stovepipe which is something i've wanted to try since 2019 uh, I, I like to this is kind of a winter type tobacco in my mind like it went with speakeasy uh, Quiet Night, uh, what else, uh, Pirate Cake, and uh, Gaslight. And I just, for some reason, didn't pull the trigger on this, and I don't know why. So, we're going to try this. Uh, so, this is kind of like a tin note and pipe review. Uh, the other thing I got, unfortunately, and I got all this from the, the pipe nook. Uh, I'm going to try some of the Savinelli pipe filters. I can only get the, what is this, a 30-pack or something like that? 35, I guess? I don't know, 35, I think. Uh, so that's, well, I don't know what that was, some tape on there, but, uh, and then I get the nine, uh, mill milliliters, um, same thing. So I got these, I couldn't get the hundred, which is okay. Cause I got the white elephant ones here. So I'm still pretty good. Uh, so I'm all right with that. I just want to try them anyway, just to see anyway. So we'll find out how that goes. Uh, but the star of the show tonight is going to be another pipe and uh this is lester um this is his fault from uh redcoats because i saw him smoking this 320 pipe oh, look at this box pretty nice huh um so this is the the travi rusticated rusticated 320 ks six millimeter i don't know if you can see right on there if you want to look at it uh and i noticed he had one and he was smoking it and it looked, I'm like, I got to get me one of them. I don't know why I don't have one. Because I look, the 320 is my favorite style pipe. Uh, the Savinelli, I don't know, the author shape or whatever, it just does it for me for whatever reason. But uh, in any case, we'll get a little bu bubble wrap there. We'll put that away from the flame over there. Put it down here, I guess. And we'll pull this sucker out. So it comes in a little bag here. And then here we'll go. Dun, 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 dun. Look at that. What a beautiful pipe. 
I don't know if you can see the bottom here. I don't know if that's upside down or not. The camera's a little further back than normal uh, tonight because I didn't want it to get burned. Um, but is the depth, there's my finger in there, as you see, right about there. So it's a good depth. And the reason, I mean, this is such a handsome, classy looking pipe. Uh, this is probably my most classy author pipe. Obviously, you know, the shed pipe is, you know, it, it, it is what it is. It's the working man pipe. This is my fancy pipe. Uh, and this is, I'm, I'm going to name this one Lester. Dr. Lester, actually, after, of course, my friend across the pond. Uh, well, he's way across the pond, I guess you could say. Uh, and that is Dr. Lester, Redcoat's Return. And I guess it is the uh, balsa. You know, here I was thinking the bamboo, but here we go. We got uh, right here, another one of those filters there. So we're going to get rid of that because I'm not big on that. And, uh, I mean, it served sort of a purpose. Uh, we're going to do that. We're going to get the, which one's a six millimeter here? And it is, this is the nine. <laughs> Good thing I checked these things. Although I can barely see. I should probably pull up my magnifying glass. Here, here we go. We got them. We got them. We're good. All right. I mean, I'd show you, but I mean, they're filters. And I know Lester did a thing on these and uh, the Pipe Nook himself. Uh, he did did one on, on this as well. So I don't really think I need to talk about them. Uh, fits pretty good in there. Ooh. I'm liking this. Take a look here. Before I uh, smoke. Look at the, just to show you guys, is the ring there? Nice band on this. Really good. Anyway, we're gonna, uh, what are we getting? We gotta, we gotta do... Let me just see. Oh, not bad. All right, let me put that down there for now. Oops. Get my filters and put them over there. All right, let's talk about this stovepipe. All right, so let me get my fancy magnifying glass here. Uh, let's see, we got, uh, I gotta get it in focus here. It says, of course I need some light. Here we go. Um, we got bright and red Virginias. Um, we got Parique, Dark Burley Leaf, Black Cavendish, uh, lightly top of flavors of cocoa, caramel, and vanilla, which I have to say, I think I'm going to like. Um, vanilla is kind of one of my favorite kind of tobacco, which is weird because I don't like vanilla in real life. Like I don't, it's not a thing I go for, but anyway, we're going to find out. We're going to crack this open here. Let me do the old. There you go. Hmm. Interesting. I smell the cocoa. All right. You know, these little paper things I like, but I don't like. I have a love hate relationship with them. I smell the Virginias. And the Cavendish, which gives it that, I want to say cocoa, kind of, not picking up vanilla. Not anyway, you guys, you guys can take a look. That's what it looks like. Looks scrumptious. Smells good. I smell the cocoa more than anything else, and, and then the Virginias. I don't smell the burly. I think it's being masked by the other stuff, but... Hmm. Anyway. So this is a little bit different for a tin note. This isn't exactly... Um, I don't know. It, by the way, it's a bit... Coming out of the tin... 
maybe it's not so bad. I, maybe it's not that bad. I thought it was a little wet when I felt it, but it, it doesn't seem too, too bad. We'll make do. To load this up. Hmm. A little, little burly. Not, uh, still no vanilla yet. By the way, hopefully my power doesn't go out. <laughs> the, uh, before, when I was in here, I think I left the other heater on downstairs. There's another portable heater in the basement. And this on at the same time, it just draws too much power. And, you know, you lose the, you know, the, it, the, the trip, the, the, uh, circuit just trips. Oh, my buddy Rocky's over, over here. Been a little while since I've seen him. All right, let's get that. There we go, pop that on. Good draw. Not bad for the filter. Now, it's funny because, and I'll have to try this with the elephant ones. I sometimes have a bit of a an issue with them. Mostly in the six the nine millimeters I haven't had really a problem. The six millimeters I had initial draw. Oh Rocky be good. Anyway. Put him right over there. And we'll close this up. One last sniff here. Hmm. Yeah, still kind of the cocoa. Oh, we gotta put some in for the for the jar here. God, this video is going to be long, isn't it? All right, some for the shed gods. I mean, the bright Virginias, you can... Hmm. You know, now that I think about it, Rocky is probably barking because of the rabbit underneath the shed. Maybe it's not me after all. Anyway, that's what I'll tell myself, right? All right. Mix this around. Get rid of that. All right, let's fire this up. We're using the said nudes. My hand's a little chilly. Having a little trouble with the draw here. That's more me than anything else, though. So. Maybe it is a little wet than I uh, anticipated. There we go. There we go. I'm tasting the burly. There we go. I mean, it smokes really good. I like the feel. It feels more uh, like the pipe feels meatier than, of course, it's rusticated, right? Or rusticated, rusticated. I don't know what the hell you call it, but rusticated. But uh, this is a 
Man, it's there's a chill in here. Sometimes I struggle with the flake. You know what this might be for? And maybe I'll bring it next week. If I vlog, if I do a winter trail vlog. This might be, because they mentioned Appalachian Trail on the tin. And this, I, you know, I'm thinking this is a good winter hiking kind of uh, tobacco for myself. It's, it's good, but the, you know, the flavors aren't really jumping out. I got the, I'm getting more burly, you know, this is the first part of the bowl right now than anything else. I'm not getting the Cavendish. I'm not even getting any of the toppings or anything like that. Uh, I smell the, the Virginia's prior. I don't get a hint of them just yet, but I imagine I will get them as I go. Wow, I do love this pipe though. Wow, I don't know, my my 320 unfinished, you might have a, a little, you should be a little concerned. But, I don't know, this is not, now I'm getting the Virginia. I just got a, This is getting good now. Let's just see, whoop. Let's see what tobacco reviews say here. All right, let's see. It's an aromatic, black cavendish, burly perique, I don't, get that at all although I'm very I'm uh, getting something like that is hard a lot of Kia same thing I'm not the best at picking that out it's a ribbon cut not flake sorry now they gave it a 2.7 on tobacco reviews this guy says Tangy, dark, fruity, earthy, red Virginia. I don't get that. But man, it's getting good now. I got a lot of the burlies coming out. Good smoke. I'll say that. This pipe is, uh, this is just a fantastic pipe. Look at that. Look at that bin. It's the black. It's it's just like it's it reminds me. You know why I call this Dr. Lester? Because it reminds me of Lester when he does his <laughs> Doctor Who time travel videos. And uh, I don't know if he had this pipe in one. No, I think he did it after his little time travel. And uh, he had his tuxedo. It kind of reminds me of a tuxedo, this this pipe here. You know, the, the, the bin here is like the I don't know. It just reminds me of that. So now we have the mini Sherlock Holmes pipe, the Bruno, the Dr. Lester, 
the shed pipe. I just call that one the shed pipe. Then I got my Santa Claus pipe. I do kind of name them, you know, because they kind of go with what mood you're in. And I got to say, this is probably, you know, it's not my handsome gentleman. That's another one. That's the, oh, what the hell is the name of the pipe? It begins with an M and I can't remember it, but it's a small author pipe. I call it the handsome gentleman because it's, it's like that. This is more of a, a thinker's pipe too. Like my, all my author pipes are kind of like a thinker pipe. Hmm. This is burning really, really good. Two things I can say in this video. This pipe is awesome. I'll leave a link below where you can get it from the pipe nook. The filter, pretty good. You know, I can't say that it was the filter's fault or the pipe's fault. But I packed it, and I think I packed it a little too tight in the beginning or too loose actually because I was getting I was getting a draw but not a good I don't know I think it was me so that's why I struggled with that in the beginning it was not the pipe and it was not the filter that's in here it was user error well, once I get going the filter's good I don't know if I'd say it's better than now I usually use the white elephant nine I'm usually smoking a nine millimeter pipe not a six so I will try the next time you see me smoking this, I'll have the White Elephant 6mm. Oh, there's a little, uh, little chickadee. In the, uh, in this pipe. And, uh, so, get this. This feels beefier. I can just tell by holding it in my hand. It seems like it. Like, like a hair more beefy than the smooth. But it really is the same pipe. It looks like it's a bit fatter. Like, if you look, see what I mean? If I can show you, like right there. Like this seems fatter than this. Um, in any case, I smell the vanilla. I just got a whiff of it. Beautiful, beautiful. This is a good smoke. No, I wasn't. I haven't been getting the cocoa. But I, I recommend this. You know, I think this is a good trail, Appalachian Trail. Uh, going on a day hike, uh, especially in the winter, in spring, early spring, when it's still a bit chilly. Um, definitely fits the mood for that, I think. And probably next week when I go out with my walking stick, uh, this is what I'll bring with me and I'll smoke that. It'll have a little chat with you guys, probably. I got some Virginias there. But overall, the other thing I can say in this video, again, it's Cornell and Deal. It's another good tobacco. Where does it rank? I mean, this isn't anything that's going to uh, wow you. I think it's a good, pleasant smoke. A day like today, sitting in the shed, it's going to snow. Uh, it's a bit chilly. It's still a little bit of a chill in here. This shed's not fully warmed up to operating standards yet. Um, you can see, I can see my breath. Um, but it's a, it's a good, um, not bad. Is it a great aromatic? No, I don't think it's a great aromatic. And of course, I'm comparing that to Boswell's, which I sm you smell more of the pleasantness. This is a decent, decent... Uh, aromatic it's a good uh i wouldn't recommend using this to sit down on a park bench or going on a lunch in your neighborhood i mean you could and there's no one saying you shouldn't um i'm just saying it's not going to be as pleasant for the person you pass by and get them to ask you whoa what are you smoking there um it's a good trail smoke i think Well, with that, this video is going on long enough. I'm almost at, I'm whew, way too long. But anyway, all right, I'll leave the links for this stuff below. I'll see you guys probably tomorrow. 
This is an awesome pipe. This is good tobacco. That's all you need to know. Anyway, I'm out of here. I've taken up your time. Thank you very much, and thank you to everybody, because now I'm over 200 subscribers, which is uh, crazy to think about. But anyway, I've taken up enough of your time. I appreciate it, and take care.